welcome back to Alien Restamod. As you see, we're inside again because it is cold out and, uh, well, this alien does not work well in the cold. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to do, this is part three of the electrical. And something that somebody brought up in my last video, he didn't question it, but he, uh, you know, he wanted to make sure I was going in the right direction, which I really appreciate. Um, so comments like that will keep me straight and also questioning my, my own designs or whatever I, I do. Whatever I do, uh, that's why you have an extra set of eyes. That's why you guys are out there. But what we're going to do today is we're going to take two fan relays. We're going to set it up and test it just to make sure it works. So let's get started. All right. Remember this sketch? I put a little couple notes on here uh, trying to figure this out. But uh, the question was whether or not this setup for the three or for the two fans, these three relays was correct. Um, and in my mind, everything's correct until somebody proves me wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some relays and hook it up to a battery and test it out. Uh, I don't have fans, but I'm going to use a light. So this is what I'm going to use. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. Or this is what I'm going to use. Actually, uh, I went online, uh, uh, Amazon and I just bought some, uh, these are relay uh, mounts, uh, pigtails, and a couple relays. These are uh, actually, actually are five, five pin. So we, ha I have some four pin, but because uh, so, I only need one five pin, one five pin, and two four pin. But anyways, uh, these are kind of neat because they connect to each other. So just boom, and they're connected. Now, going back to my uh, schematic, just uh, right here, as you're looking at this, uh, the view that I'm looking at the relay is actually looking at like this, because you got 30 at the top, 30 at the top, 85, 86, and 87, 87A in the middle. So, I mean, that that's how I... I drew the relay thing. So you're actually looking at the the pigtails from the bottom. There you go. You're looking at the pigtail from the bottom if you're look, you know, comparing it to this. So this is 86, 85 is on the left. You got 30 up top and 87 on the bottom. So it works out. So uh, just just orientating you to the the map. <laughs> But uh, we're going to go ahead and put these together. It is going to look like spaghetti when I get it all hooked up and everything to the relays. It is going to look just, I mean, really like spaghetti. Um, and then I don't have fans, but I have a light. And what I have is this is a continuity uh, tester. It tests for 6 volts, 12 volts, 24, 48, and continuity and also DC. Uh, so... Continuity being uh, if you have a wire, some alligator clips. So if you, t you take the you know one end to the other, you don't. It, it has a power source in here. One end to the other. Boom. There's continuity. I mean, there's no break in the line. Later on, that's going to come in handy for uh, troubleshooting, trying to find break and uh, break in um, some wires. So that's cool. But anyways, we're going to use this. So as we hook it up, we're going to be able to tell if it's getting power through there because it'll light up the 6 and the 12 because that's the highest it'll go and it lights up whatever its range it is. So we're going to have a 12 volt source and we'll get these things to light up. So let me go ahead and put it together. I'm not going to show you because it's just a mess. But I am following this and I'll explain how I set it up after I set it up. Okay, be back in a minute. All right, let me, let me explain a couple things real quick. All right, so obviously I don't have two fans. So I'm going to use the uh, continuity uh, tester. And I don't have this line or this wire and this wire, which is connected here and here, going to high speed fan, going to low speed fan. These will go to the PCM. The PCM is already yeah. programmed to have the low speed fan go off at, say, 180 degrees and the high-speed fan go off at 200 or 210 or whatever you want. Actually, no, I'd do it at 200, to tell you the truth. But, um, so the computer would tell that it would go down, it would switch it, so it, 
it would work that way. But since I don't have the PCM, what I did is I hooked up a uh, a switch on each of these, and I grounded it because the uh, this will be grounded on the uh, PCM anyways. So when I click this, this will indicate that the fan is on. And then the high speed fan comes on. So I'll, you know, indicate, you know, 180 degrees and then 200 degrees. Anyways, but um, everything's pretty much like this, except, you know, the fans, they're not fans. It just goes to the end of the wires and then I just hook up the uh, continuity connector. I'll show you. But like I said, it looks like spaghetti. That's why I didn't go through it because it's just a mess. But if you pretty much follow this and then, I mean, if you wanted to test it and then use this as a ground, this is a ground and put a connector on it, you can test the continuity of everything. And there's the spaghetti. <laughs> uh, it is, it is a mess. But um, like I said, here's, uh, um, this one right here is your low speed fan and Here's your high speed fan. So here's your low speed. And there's your high speed. So uh, right now I have it off. I think I hooked that up wrong, but it doesn't matter as long as it clicks. And it is off over here as well. And then for to represent the fans, the alligator clips represent the fans, the two fans. So uh, this is the low speed and this is the high speed. And the this connector represents the low speed. This connector represents the high speed. And this connector, this connector actually represents heat power. I know I have this uh, acting as a direct power to the source, but I put a switch on there to represent keyed power. Uh, so if I turn the key on, things should happen. Well, let's just test that. Here's the uh, the key is off right now. The alligator clip is the, I guess the on button on, and there's nothing. But there is power going to the switch. Turn it on. I just turn the key. Now I have power going on there. So I, I just did that just for... Uh, my my amusement, I guess. Anyways, so so you turned on the uh, you turned on the power. Now you're driving along, and it reaches 180 degrees. So the uh, PCM kicks on this fan. Click it on. So this fan clicks on. So now that we know that the wire going to the fan, the power wire going to the fan one. Uh, 180 uh, degrees is on, so it has power. Say it went below, computer clicks it off, you got nothing. All right, so the one fan's going. Here's the second fan, nothing. Reach 200 degrees, clicks on, and now you got power. Now, this is based off of, of this, and remember, I grounded this, and I grounded this wire, which go to the PCMs, and I just put, you know, connectors on them. And uh, the keyed source, I just put uh, straight to the battery, hooked it up positive, and I just put a, a switch in there to represent the keyed source. But go ahead and try it for yourself. Uh, I would suggest testing everything you do before you uh, wire everything up. Uh, one more thing I want to test and I'll show you me uh, I'll show you I'm concerned about the um, fuel pump relay so I mean it's just one relay so I'm just gonna hook that up real quick test it and then be done with it. Uh, I'm not gonna hook up the main uh, right today I'm gonna do that later and I'll test it later and make sure everything's good because um, on the uh, video when I'm Putting all this together, uh, you'll see uh, everything coming together anyways. So, 
Uh, let's test out the fuel pump real quick. I hope I do this right. All right, so you're looking at the fuse, or the relay fuse. Uh, you got 86 on the, the right, 85 on the left, 30 at the top, and 87. I mean, it's, you know, some people say that's upside down, but that's the way I have it uh, drawn on the paper, so that's the way I look at it. 30 represents your battery source. So uh, we use the yellow <laughs> alligator clip. You're not going to use alligator clips, you know that, all right? So there's your main battery source. And then uh, 85 is on the left, and that's going to be your ground. 87, which is at the bottom, this is a 5-pin. We're not going to use the center. But 87 at the bottom is going to be going to the fuel pump. And then 86 is going to be key power to start the fuel pump. All right, that should work. Um, and then here's our, here's our key source. All right, here's the ground. So this is our grounded source. This is 85 hooking up. Here's the uh, fuel pump. And this is the direct power. The yellow is the direct power. And the key source is the the white cord or wire. And that, that's going to connect directly to the positive anyways. But I have a, uh, a like I said, a um, on and off switch. To represent the key. So we'll connect uh, the power up. Also, you know, like when you, you power up these, you can hear it click. <laughs> Anyways, so right now uh, there is no power on it. So I turn on the car. It did click. What you do is put your finger on there. And then just, you can feel it click. And then, so right now it's on. So this is the fuel pump. So let's test our fuel pump. And we got power. That's me shaking. That's not the fluctuating power. <laughs> I can't hold anything still. So we turned off the car. And now the pump has no power. So it's just a way to test, you know, hey, the this is all, all it was, was just to uh, prove to myself that I did, I did do it right. All right. I, this is just to prove that to me that I, I got a, a correct wiring for the fan and the fuel pump and uh, everything. Hey, that's it for now. Thank you for watching Alien Rust Mod. And remember, uh, go ahead and uh, talk to a professional wire uh, in, uh, electrician about wiring if you need help. There are plenty of tutorials out there about how to wire up a, a relay. Um, you know, I'm not the best, but anyways, um, thanks again. Uh, this is uh, part four. I, know, I think I said part three at the beginning, but this is part four. Part five, we're going to finish up the wiring harness and all the little particulars about that thing. And then we'll also go ahead and connect the fuse block or box to all the extra wiring down there from the wiring harness. And then we'll be uh, good to go, hopefully. <laughs> Do a lot of testing. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Alien Restaurant.